my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Daily Premonition 2. Last time, well, we got a backstory of Lakar, and I did play a little, uh, not really a little bit, but this has been a combination of two things. So, what's going on? Who's at our door? Knock, knock, knocking on York's door. Well, wait. Hey yeah. there, Chef. What's cooking? Chef. What are you talking about, sir? <laughs> I'm the concierge, David. Wait, what? I just heard from our chef that you wish to learn the meaning behind our town's name. Yes, I've gathered that Lucare is French, but does it have any special meaning? Why, yes, sir, of course it does. A very clear, logical meaning. All names have meanings. Would you like to know what this one means? Yes, I would. Jolly good, sir. Then allow me to explain. Lucare means square in French. Ah. And? That's it. <laughs> that's it? Yes, that's it, sir. Do take a gander at the town map in the lobby if it fancies you. It's beautiful, valuable, and old. And I'm square. sure you'll understand once you see it. Now, please excuse me, sir. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Did you see that, Zach? That was clearly David. Not a twin, not a split personality, just the work of a true professional. It's bizarre, but I can understand it. Remember what they say, the job makes the man. Wait, check. this is like the fastest mission successful we can do quickly. I took one step. Feel that, Zach? Dozens of paintings no one will ever see. The faint scent of tobacco baked into these walls for over a century. Now that's what I call a hotel. Wait. Zach, can you see him? His fashion sense is beyond me, but he appears to be a gentleman. Perhaps we should talk to him. It's a painting that's moving. Huh. Nice tie. Did you buy it here? It's been a long time since someone spoke to me. No one these days ever tries to see me. They can see what's far in the distance, but are blind to what's in front of them. No. Maybe they're only pretending not to see. That's what civilized society does to people. Exactly. Ever since mankind got their hands on civilization, they zoomed away at a frightening speed. Zoomed away from what? <laughs> uh oh. Don't be a fool. You know the answer. As for me, just call me Hoongan. Hoongan. Title given to a leader in a certain religion. Is that what you are? Yeah, I believe that. Do you comprehend the Oracle? The Oracle? Put on your religion hat, Zach. Here we go. Fell ten maidens in the shrine of hunger. 
find the flying serpent in the ambiguous zero. Dance with the flying serpent, and you will glimpse the other world. Ten maidens and an ambiguous zero. Got it. But what do you mean by other world? Follow the oracle. <laughs> That's the weirdest laugh ever. Zach, did you hear all that? Looks like we've already taken our first step into chaos. But such is our duty. We need to accept the chaos, let it inside, then carefully dismantle it piece by piece. And Seems after legit. we've put all the pieces back into their rightful places, the truth will reveal itself. Let's capture the truth and present it with a shiny pair of silver bracelets, Zack. I mean, I like the concept. I'm guessing 10 people are gonna die. Oh yeah, I still need to do the map. So far, we have probably played two minutes of game, hour and 15 of cutscenes. <laughs> Zach, this is Lucare. Yes. I think I'm finally starting to understand what our concierge was trying to say. You can tell this town was built by a very methodical person. No, wait. Maybe they just didn't care, and that's why it ended up this way. It's just another symbol of mankind's obsession with molding nature to fit our own rules. Yay, yeah, we have a map. Zach, what did you think of Hoongun's Oracle? I don't like it. Despite all the dramatic buildup, it's little more than a childish riddle. Heartwarming, really. Exactly the kind of feeling one gets from the good old-fashioned countryside. No? Wait. Now let's start by tracking down those ten maidens. The Oracle gave us a place and an act. We need to go to the Shrine of Hunger and fell ten maidens. Now where in this town can one satiate their hunger? Well... The hotel and... where? Alexis's diner and lane. Pens and food. This is it, Zach. There are even pins and a bowling ball on the sign. I bet we'll be able to eat some Cajun cuisine and bowl there. Maybe even both at the same time. Nice job, Zach. I knew you'd be able to find it. I mean, I'm pretty great, you know. Now for the other oracle. There's no flying serpent on this map. Could it be a contrail or perhaps a dragon? I'm sure we'll find out later. First, let's just figure out where we need to go. Do you know what the ambiguous zero represents? Zero is usually treated as a base number, but under what conditions would a base number be ambiguous? The answer is temperature, Zach. Yeah. Wait, the how Carson did you- Food Delivery Services Cold Storage Warehouse. That's got to be it. What? Even with this blazing sun in the sky, they can easily keep the temperature below freezing. Be honest now, Zach. You knew the answer from the very start, didn't you? No, I was thinking graveyard. <laughs> All right, 15 bucks. And how about that Hoongan? What a mysterious character. His oracles may end up determining how much time we spend in this town. Sorry, boss, but this is a smoke-free hotel. If you're dying of smoke, head out the entrance and you'll find a smoking area in the rear parking lot. Don't tell me. You're the bellman. At your service, boss. <laughs> Are you good friends with the concierge and the chef? Eh, we work at the same place, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I can't really say whether we're good friends with each other. We're all professionals, though. Nothing more, nothing less. I believe we've struck gold here, Zack. It just screams deep south. Actually, no, it doesn't. 
This is all his charm. So, if I want to smoke, I should go out the entrance and around to the rear parking lot? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> okay, I'll play by your rules. Hey, at two missions, that's more than one. So we have two options. So we actually game just crashed. Smoking's bad for you, kids. Compared to non smokers, Smokers have a 4.7 times greater chance of getting lung disease. You know that means it's more likely than getting asbestos poisoning? The risk of death from lung cancer is actually much lower than what you think it is. In fact, it's tiny when compared to heart disease, strokes, and pneumonia. We're always surrounded by easy ways to die, you know. Some people even get randomly struck by lightning and die right there on the spot. Then I reckon you also know that secondhand smokers have 1.3 times greater the risk compared to smokers? Of course. So you won't mind paying the damages when I die of lung disease? How about writing that in a contract for me? You got a pen, right? There's eyes there. Wait, what? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Well, that's stupid. By the way, what's your name? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Um... Is something wrong with you? Adults ain't supposed to act like that. I only asked for your name so I can write it on the contract. You should have been able to figure that out if you're a real FBI agent like you said. Come on, sign here. Right here on the paper. Just as I thought, Zack. This contract paper. It's a San Rouge wrapper. San Rouge is here, too. This must mean that San Rouge is connected to the Lee's Clarkson murder case somehow. This is a sprawling case that spread across the entire South. It's within our jurisdiction, Zack. We'll need to steal the right to investigate from the local authorities at once. By the way, miss, what's your name? Patricia Woods. But I gotta write my name myself, or else it won't be a real signature. <laughs> Tell me, Patricia, does this town have a sheriff, or is it under the jurisdiction of the nearest city police? Perfect timing. Well, go on and steal it if you want it. I was just thinking about how this is way out of my daddy's league. Thank you for the information, Patricia. Okay, Zach, it's time to get to work. How should we seize control from the sheriff this time? Very carefully. Oh. We, had to, we can actually play. Wait, it's a food truck and a police? What is this game? Hey there. So, uh, you're the fella from the FBI I've been hearing so much about. I'm Melvin. They call me the sheriff around here. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan? But call me York if you can. That's what everyone calls me. Huh? <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Mr. York, how's that sound? Fine by me. <laughs> I'm sure you figured this out, but our town's a small one. Yeah, folks are already busy spreading gossip about how some FBI agents come to town. <laughs> now, uh, I reckon you came from the city. 
what was it? D.C., L.A., or New York? Anywho, in the city, it's normal not to know who your neighbor is. Fella who moves in next to you could cook up a dozen folks in his backyard, and no one would bat an eye. That's the city for you. Now, I never lived in one myself, but I visited him a few times, so I know what it's like. All pigs must die in the city of wolves. Yeah! Now, does that sound badass or what? I bet you'd... Hey! <laughs> I know, I know, CLG. I'm just trying to make a little small talk, that's all. Anywho, around these parts, everyone knows each other's name. So lots of folks get leery when they see an étranger like you. And since it's my duty to protect the town, I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Zack, it looks like this sheriff is quite the happy-go-lucky type. A clear indication of just how peaceful this town is. Melvin, about the Lee's Clarkson case... I knew you were here for that case! Can't put one past the FBI! Mm. So they even got eyes on the smallest of towns like us, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Our world is filled with information, and it's all within their grasp. <laughs> FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The Lee's Clarkson case is connected to a top secret case that we've... I know, I know. If you're fixing to take the lead, <laughs> then go right ahead. I'm just the humble sheriff of a tiny little town. My jobs are to stop my neighbors from beating the piss out of each other and listen to old folks complain. Honestly, this whole murder case has been weighing me down. So I'm gonna give you my full cooperation, Mr. Special Agent, sir. Well, Zach, that was anticlimactic. I didn't even get to use my secret weapon. Melvin, there's a cold storage warehouse on the southern end of town, isn't there? I'd like to get permission to enter it. Say what? You want to see where the body's being kept, right? Oh, I get it now. Lisa's body, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, that's what I call a special agent. You already figured that much out. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, hmm, I'm... Not too sure that, uh, going down there at this point is really gonna help much, you know? Explain it yourself, Daddy. That's incredible. I don't believe this. Amazing. Did you hear that, Zack? They put the body in a cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. Insanely fantastic. R really well, uh, how about that? <laughs> well, all right then. I'll head on down to the warehouse ahead of you and make sure we get permission to search it. Sounds good. The management company only keeps the warehouse open during certain hours, so you'll have to come during those hours. I ain't looking to create any further disturbances. So be on time. Got it? Come on, let's roll, CLG. I'm gonna walk home, Daddy. I still got another stop to make. Oh, if you say so, sweetie. <laughs> She's a real sharp one, as you can see, so I try to stay out of her way. Well, all right then, York. I'll see you at the warehouse. Hmm. Skateboard! Okay, so my first thought is. I... Are you serious? I haven't done anything yet. Hey, you! Yes? You ain't secretly cutting kids up and sticking them into jars while you work as an FBI agent on the surface, are you? What? Or. Using your FBI connections to sell kids to child trafficking organizations? What? I've arrested people who've done both, but 
I've never engaged in either of those activities myself. Of course, I have imagined doing such things in order to learn more about the psychology of the criminals I deal with. You don't have to admit that. It was just a joke. Why are you getting all serious? And don't tell me what you imagine, or else I'll get scared of you for real. Hey, can I come with you? You signed a contract with me, remember? And besides, I'm kind of worried about my daddy. Do whatever you like. This is America, land of the free. America! But I have one condition. What condition? Don't ask me about Zack. It's a private matter. Zack, it feels like she's carrying something with her. Kind of reminds me of you back when we first met. I can't leave her alone like this. You feel the same way, don't you? Not really. I have a freaking skateboard. My main mode of transportation. Okay. So my big question to start this off is A. Melvin called you a strange name. CLG, I think. What exactly does that mean? Clever little girl. That's what it stands for, at least. It's nice that he made up his own nickname for me and all, but it sounds kind of weird. I wish he'd call me something normal, like just Patricia or Patty, you know? Patty? Now that name's got a ring to it. I like it. How about Zach and I call you Patty from here on out? Do whatever you like. Weirdo. You're heading no. to the warehouse, right? You gonna go straight there? Well, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to talk to Zach. We're also on a mission to fell ten maidens, you see. I'm eager to visit Alexis's diner in Lane, but we've only just arrived in this town, so it might be nice to stroll around a bit. What? I thought you came here to investigate. Patty, you're still just a child. Why do you worry so much? We're born to be free, and this is America, land of the free. You should always free. feel free to do whatever you want. Isn't that right, Zach? Maybe I shouldn't have come with you. I'm getting kind of nervous now. Alright, so unlike the first game, he's being very open about Zack, which is very unusual. He barely mentioned Zack during uh, the first game. If he did, it was always during... Hey Zack, it looks like we were right on the money. Tracing the San Rouge distribution route led us right to Louisiana. You know what that means. We've got a hot hand. And Lady Luck's given us far more favor than she ever has before. We just happened to hear news about Lisa's murder while sitting in a bar during our... Oops. Well, we're gonna do this first. Well, after all the talking, we still have to end it here. So next time on Dirty Prediction 2, we'll tackle on the, the Below Zero mission. I'll see you then.